Newton's third law. Objective: to understand the action-reaction pair of a force. Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. If an object A exerts force F on an object B, object B also exerts the same amount of force on A but in the opposite direction. If the force exerted by the first object on the second is considered as an action, the force exerted by the second object on the first is considered as a reaction. If the force exerted by the second on first is considered as action, the force by the first on second becomes a reaction. When a football is kicked, force exerted by the foot on the ball accelerates the ball. Ball also exerts equal but opposite force on the foot. Player becomes conscious of this fact when he feels a certain amount of pain in his foot. Action and reaction are different aspects of the same force and they coexist. Sometimes the reaction force may not be as obvious as in the previous case. A box lying on a table presses the table down with a force equal to its weight W. The table pushes up the box with an equal and opposite force R. R bar is equal to minus W bar. The force W bar and R bar form an action reaction pair. Consequences of Newton's third law. When a man jumps off from a stationary boat, the boat moves back. When a gun is fired, the bullet goes forward and the gun recoils backward. A man is able to walk by pressing the ground backward so that the reaction of the earth makes him move forward. While swimming, a man pushes water in the backward direction with his hands and legs. The reaction of water enables him to move forward. Rocket motion is based on the fact that the burnt out gases are ejected through a narrow orifice in the backward direction, causing the rocket to move forward. Summary Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction.